Okay, today we are going to be continuing our review of 33 Days to Morning Glory by Father Michael Gately, our consecration book. Today we review Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa was such a beautiful servant of the poor, encountering Jesus in the midst of his distressing disguise. That's what he called them. Whenever she would see a poor, she would, she would see Jesus, someone who's suffering, Jesus. Even if he didn't look like Jesus, even though they were so... Um, dirty and dying, she saw Jesus. And the person who helped her with that is her deep and close relationship with our Blessed Mother. Today, as we review, I want us to remember three things about Mother Teresa's love of our Blessed Mother. Thirst, heart, and covenant. You'll remember that Mother Teresa, on while Jesus was on the cross, when she had a vision, she saw Jesus there, and he said, I thirst. And it wasn't a thirst for ordinary water. The reason that Jesus Christ was on the cross, Mother Teresa says, is because he thirsted for you, for your love, to save you, to be with you in heaven, and to draw you to himself by the great act of giving his life for you. And she says, our blessed mother, with St. John, was the first one to hear that, I thirst. And so, as she was one of the ones that consoled his heart, she was one of those ones that was right there with him, never sinning, always perfectly following, quenching that thirst, so she can teach us about Jesus' thirst and how much he loves us. The second is, um, it's tied to it, is the heart. Remember those two great prayers of Mother Teresa. Lend me your heart. Sometimes we are slow to love. Sometimes we are slow to see Jesus or to even want to follow him. And Mother Teresa would make that prayer. Mary, lend me your heart because she loved Jesus so much. And then the second prayer is keep me in your most pure heart. Right? Keep me there in this heart that loves Jesus. Keep me so close to him. Because remember, our Blessed Mother has enmity between the evil one, she's so far away, and we, when we're there, we're safe, we're protected. And in that heart, you remember Mary in Luke chapter 2, it says that she took all of these things and she pondered them. She pondered them in her heart, and so she can help teach us about her son. And then finally, there was the covenant, the 12 things that Mary does and the 12 things that we are supposed to do. And so she says, moved by an ardent desire to live in the closest union with you, Mary, possible in this life, so as to more surely and full, full, fully arrive at union with your Son, I hereby pledge to live the spirit and terms of the following covenant of the consecration as faithfully and generously as I am able. And we can go back and we can look at the 12 duties of Mary and then our 12 responses to that. We'll post those at the bottom of today so we can review them. But remember to make some act of Mary in devotion. A rosary is preferred. If you don't have time for that, a decade. If you don't have time for that, just three Hail Marys. It's not about the work. It's about moving our heart and trusting ourselves to our Blessed Mother. Offer the intention to Mary that she takes to God and then recognize a gift that you've received from God through Mary, and I'll see you tomorrow. The day is coming soon. Let us continue to pray for one another. God bless.